I promise. It's it's not. Not. Oh, I mean, she's doing a test strand. This is so exciting to see. Yeah. This is the scientist that works with Pantene. I'm going to ask her a few questions to debunk some of the things that hairstylists think. You guys, look at how beautiful this room is. Um, I can tell you, I love a boutique hotel. Like I love, 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 love a boutique hotel. And this right here, the Hotel Covington, which is technically Kentucky, um, but it's also Cincinnati. So if you cross the river, it is Cincinnati. But I think it's kind of cool. I have a bucket list of things that I said I wanted to do this year. And I said I wanted to go to a lot of states. Like that was my thing. I said it like a month ago. And I've been to California and now I'm like, I thought I was going to Ohio. And it turns out I'm going to Kentucky and Ohio. So I just killed uh, one bird with two stones. Anyways, let's go do a tour of the hotel because this is uh, so beautiful. I cannot not do this. So let's go. Going down. You guys, seriously, I cannot wait to tour this with y'all. I haven't toured it yet. This is new to me. I think this is where we're having dinner. Look at how beautiful this is. I can get back in? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> okay. This is so clean. It's like, oh, I could totally see myself getting married again here. <laughs> again. <laughs> I'm not getting married 30 times. Nah, if this doesn't work out, it's just not happening for me. Nah, I love my hubby. But I think it's starting to... Is it a little bit of snow? A little bit of sleet? Um, it would be kind of cool if it snowed, I'm not gonna lie. Um, because I haven't seen snow in a while. But look how pretty it is out here. I did not know that Kentucky was so close to Ohio. I was not aware. Nobody told me that. Oops. School system failed me. <laughs> so pretty. I'm gonna just retangle that. figure out what I want to get and then we'll oh, here we go let me figure out what I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one of these and let's see how it is let's see I went with the beer I'm gonna get the bourbon later <laughs> um I went with the IPA that's on draft I'm gonna get their fries, test it out, and then I'll be back later for my bourbon. Hmm. 
dinner menu. I'm gonna do this again because I'm not sure if it's saved. This is dessert, a menu, and this is the lounge menu that is served all day long. And room service. Now I ordered off the lunch menu. I'm getting the french fries and we'll see how that goes off. Got my French fries. These are the beef fat French fries, which just sounded really good. Mm. That's really good. It does, it tastes like a burger, if that makes sense. Real good. We went from Kentucky to Ohio. Next morning. Okay, it is early morning, 7 a.m. early for me, and it is time to leave this beautiful hotel. Okay, so today what I'm doing is I'm going to the Pantene Labs. I've got my outfit ready, and look at this lab coat. Hello, Pantene. I'm so professional. And goggles. So let's get ready i look like a hot mess but that's okay because i'm gonna be looking good in a little bit um i do have to pack up my whole suitcase because after pantene labs around 2 30 p.m i'll be headed back to the what i call and i think it's pretty clever because it's in ohio but it actually it's in kentucky the airport it's so confusing i've been in two states in the last day so i staying in Kentucky, Covington, which is the hotel and the airport, but I'm working like five minutes away in Ohio. Um, but anyways, I came up with a clever uh, airport and I call it Otucky or Kentucko. Like, why has nobody done this? So if you want to change your airport, <laughs> Because of me. Uh, look at that Pantene. Look at that. Look at that pillow they sent me. Look at these products they sent me. So cute. So amazing. This hotel, though, man. This hotel. I was like a dream in here sleeping. The wall color is gorgeous. It's like this beautiful, dark red wine is what I would call it. <sighs> it's like being in a glass of red wine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And this Magic 8-Ball. All right, Magic 8-Ball. How is my day going to go today? These things are funny. Cannot predict now. Okay. How is my day going to go today? It says, my sources say no. You know what? Screw you. All right. Let me get changed. A few hours later. laboratories you're gonna find out a lot of information today I'm so excited Scanning electron microscope. 
A uh, scan electron microscope works like an old school, t a old school TV where you raster, um, so it's taking one line of data at a time. Um, and basically what it uses is it uses an electron gun, so <laughs> I have an electron gun. <laughs> and so basically it's using a beam of electrons that go over the sample, and then that sample gets excited, and then I get the signal, and then I record that signal. Um, the other piece that's on there is actually EDS, so that's energy just <laughs> Okay. Moroccan oil. <laughs> Those are my two hands that are Moroccan I'm oil. <laughs> gotta be. You Moroccan got it. Oil. <laughs> I'm the hair stylist, I know. <laughs> she, she got it. Um, anyway, so I mean, it is supposed to be something that is supposed to be a hair repair. Now, just to let you know, I, my hair does not require a hair repair because my hair is not color treated. I do have some thermal damage on my hair, but just letting you know that there will be different kind of properties on my hair, right, versus hair that's color treated, but technically there would be a little bit more um, because of the chemistry of my hair. My surface energy is a little bit different on my hair. And then I also um, picked one of our chassis that's super, super cleaning um, to make sure that I was getting anything off the hair. And then I picked um, the Pantene um, DMR regimen with, so daily moisture renewal, I always hear you say that. Uh, in my house it's DMR. Um, and then uh, we also used uh, Rescue, which is also miracles, right? Uh, we love, love, love that product. My daughter's a dancer. It's the best stuff to, you know, when I have to tease her hair. Okay, good. I'm not, I'm a good chemist, I'm not a good star. That's mm -hmm. right. Okay. It looks like a lot more because it's so long. It's not it's not really that much, I promise. I promise. Oh, I mean she's doing a test strand. This is so exciting to see. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you want to take the Sharpie, write your name and today's date on it, that would be amazing. All right, who's in the hot seat next? All right, the tester is getting tested. Um, this is quite an unusual side for me. Um, so while we're here, this is the scientist that works with Pantene. And I'm going to ask her a few questions to debunk some of the things that hairstylists think. So. Is there a waxy polymer in Pantene? So that's an interesting topic because when I read labels and ingredient disclosures, I, I struggle to figure out which wax they're calling out because many of the ingredients on there are polymetric, but they're not necessarily waxes. So no wax buildup. You guys, when we're scraping the hair, tell us what's really happening. Ah. Very interesting <laughs> query there. When you're scraping the hair, you're actually scraping the cuticle layer off of it. And the reason why the material appears white is because not because it's a wax. It's white because your cuticles don't have melanosomes in it. The melanosomes provide the coloring. And as a result, because you don't have colorant in that part of the hair, you're actually scraping off white cuticles from the external of the hair. Mm -mm -mm. Can we talk about silicones? Yes. That's the other thing hairstylists are always, what about the silicones? Yes, so the silicones is an interesting query as well because the silicones, there are actually many raw materials on the ingredient disclosure that are silicones and you may not know um, from a chemistry perspective what you're looking at when you look at the nomenclature and by nomenclature I mean the name. So when you're looking at the name you have to educate yourself on what could be key and showing you that it is a silicone. So anything containing methicone, um, that would be a silicone. So look, let, make sure you're looking at the nomenclature or the way the word is termed. Beautiful. Is there anything else that you'd like to add that hairstylists need to know about Pantene? Please don't scrape the hair. You're don't destroying the hair. the hair. Please don't <laughs> scrape the hair. Thank you. That would be yes, great. Thank you. You've answered so many questions, and I'm so... Oh, it's snowing outside. Oh. Aw. Um, you've answered so many questions, because so many hairstylists have been like, you know, it causes buildup, and then they do these scrape tests. There's the silicone thing. They're like, it's it's all just been debunked. Um, I think you're going for it. Or... Yeah. That's it? Okay. Or, um... 
we'll place them in, in a small use panel for a consumer study. So all of those things, we actually will start getting some human hands on them. Um, most of our screening is on the screen here up here. Um, and it's mostly because of acquiring hair that has a higher pearl pattern. So um, I can source this around the world fairly easily. Um, and believe it or not, at, at no price can I actually get enough of a CAA, a uh, Consumer of African Ancestries, here um, in order to do a lot of testing. So one of the things we do is when we're going to be launching products for those consumers, we'll actually do um, studies with individuals um, and make sure that the products work. So we're going to go this way. For just a second. Okay, y'all may have just missed that. There is a room full of hair, and people have that have visited have been known to like black out because they didn't realize they had like this fear of all this hair. I am like, I have never heard of this. Before. Like, 